We are back again at Wanderlinger Brewing. Uh, Heather's using the Z50 and her 45 and my 70 to 200 again. And I've got the R6 and the 24 to 70 and 70 to 200 again. Tonight's show starting a little bit earlier and we were here for the sound check and we might even have some color photos before the white balance goes all crazy. But tonight we have Joel Four Lines and Friends, which should be pretty cool. So we'll make some photographs and let you see what we can see. Okay, we had a great time at Wanderlinger shooting Joel Four Lines and Friends. And I used exclusively the RF 70-200 f 2.8 lens, which is awesome on any of the R cameras, especially the R6 and R5. What'd you use, Heather? I used the 70-200 f 2.8 GVR2. GVR2? Mm-hmm. Whoa, that's a fancy lens. My friend Adrian Alford is a big fan of that lens. Do you like it as well? I like it a lot. I really like that lens too. So we had a good time shooting and we'll show you the pictures now. Okay, it was nice shooting a little bit earlier in the evening because there's more light, more natural light in Wanderlinger and you're able to get color photographs without the white balance being completely destroyed. And it was really fun photographing Joel because he always had a big smile. Now I called my buddy or actually texted my buddy Kobe who is pictured here and told him that Joel Fourlines, who he actually knows was playing at Wanderlinger and he got on his motorcycle and rode down and enjoyed the show with us. Here is a candid photograph of a couple of people who were enjoying the show there at Wanderlinger. It was kind of fun doing some candids. Now look at this beautiful G&L Telecaster that Adam Stone is playing. Just an absolutely beautiful guitar and I decided to focus just on his left hand and have that beautiful guitar bokeh-fied. Now even though I didn't have to do black and white on this particular occasion, I still thought doing one black and white photo was pretty cool. And I came over to the side of the stage and I was going to photograph Adam Stone as he was soloing. Well right about that same time Joel turned around to watch him play. So I made that photograph and here is Adam Stone as he is soloing. And I got another photograph of Joel as he's playing his guitar. I think that's a Carvin guitar. I'm not exactly sure about that one. Now here is a pedal steel, which I can name two guitar players off the top of my head that play a pedal steel guitar in a non-country music frame of mind. And they are Joel Fourlines and David Gilmore. Here's the drummer as he's playing away and doing a really nice job. I actually have some a video of him doing a drum solo later in the video and I thought this dude was cool kind of uh, not exactly a spring chicken wandering around I've seen him at a lot of live shows he must really enjoy music and here's a group of ladies as they're sipping on some beer and enjoying the show now here is my beer uh, I, I switched over to a sour raspberry flavored sour that was delicious and that's Kobe's glasses in the background they are bokeh -fied. the RF 70 to 200 f 2.8 has a really close minimum focus distance and I took advantage of it here. Here are Heather's photographs and she made every single one of these using my 70 to 200 f 2.8 G VR2 and I thought she did a really great job and most of the people who are subscribed to my channel are Nikon people because I've kind of had a really serious Nikon focus for the last two or three years on the channel. So I saved all of Heather's Nikon photos for later in the video just to kind of keep you guys anticipating. But she did a really nice job. There is Adam Stone with that beautiful orange GNL Telecaster and so many photographs of the very photogenic Joel Four Lines who's always wearing a big smile while he plays guitar. And here's the drummer. This is Taylor Wade. Uh, Heather has observed me doing music photography for years, but this is only the second time she's ever done music photography, but she is a quick study. I've always talked about how I like to catch the drummer with the sticks in the air as opposed to down on the drums. And she did a wonderful job catching many, many photographs of Taylor Wade as he was playing with a stick in the air. It's a lot more difficult than you would think catching a drumstick in the air, but she did a really nice job of it. And here's some more photographs of Joel Fourlines as he's singing and playing 
and just doing a really good job entertaining the folks there at Wonderlinger that night. And uh, here's a photograph of him playing the pedal steel, switching back and forth between instruments. Very cool. And we had a really nice time that night at Wanderlinger Brewing. All right, thanks for watching our trip to Wanderlinger Brewing where we're nowhere near as intoxicated as we were last time we came. Now on this particular time that we came, we're on a Sunday night and the music starts at six instead of the music starting at nine. And with that in mind, you see that even though we're done shooting, we just shot for the first set, the outside light coming in through the windows is still pretty strong so with that we could shoot possibly we haven't worked on our pictures yet but possibly color photographs whoa are you falling i'm good she's good so thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed the photos of joel four lines and friends here at wanderlinger brewing in downtown chattanooga with a couple of awesome 70 to 200 2.8 lenses and a couple of awesome Canon and Nikon cameras. We look forward to seeing you in the next one. We always appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe, hit the bell if you wanna see some more. Bye bye. All right, well, we had a really cool time shooting Joel Four Lines and Friends at Wanderlinger Brewing. I used exclusively the 70 to 200 F 2.8 RF lens for my R6, and Heather used the old 24 to 70. Did I say 24 to 70? Yeah, you did, but you meant 20 to 70 to 200. Did I say 70 to 200 when I described mine? I don't know. I think we should start over. Okay, let's start over. Okay, bye. I feel like I f***ed that up. Do you think you, it was... It was good. Okay. Start over. Okay, bye.